Hey guys, so you join me here in my apartment. Today is another travel day. So today's video is a travel vlog slash car vlog. I'm delivering back the V90 cross country. So I'm on my way into Oslo. I'm going to talk a bit about that car. When I get to Oslo, I'm going to change back into my rental car. And then we're going off to Western Norway for a few days to work. So off to Oslo. It's getting really cold outside here in Norway now at this time of year. Six degrees centigrade outside getting really cold. But here in the V90, I've said it many times before, the V90 cross country might just be my favorite Volvo product at the moment. And today I'm gonna, you know, explore the subject with you guys, give you guys my arguments for why I might think. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think this is the best Volvo car you can buy today so today I'm gonna you know tell you guys why I think that way and I really think if it was my money your money your mother's money your brother's money a car you were actually recommending someone to buy I really do think that this is the current car to get <laughs> Dynamically, this car is much closer to a sedan or a station wagon to drive than it is to an SUV. And remember, this car has 8 inches of ground clearance, that's about 21 centimeters. That's more than you'll find in most crossovers. And people buy crossovers because of the utility, the height and ground clearance, and the space. This car has both. It has ground clearance, four-wheel drive, the rugged looks, but it's still low slung enough, you know, to not be tall and towering. So it has a lower center of gravity, meaning it does have sports sedan handling. And this is a huge car. It's almost five meters long. So the trunk back there is huge. It's actually bigger than in the XC60. So if you don't need a seven seater, dynamically, you can't go wrong with this car. And then you have the engine. So engine choices you have, you know, the T5 gas engine, you have the T6 gas engine. That's just turbocharged and supercharged motor with 320 horsepower. And then you also have the D4 diesel, which this is, and then you have the D5 diesel. So all these cars are all wheel drive, no matter what market you choose anywhere in the world. So this is the D4 diesel. It's a two liter four cylinder, 190 horsepower. It's the same unit I had in my XC90, my late XC90, the D4. And so personally, I'm a bit fed up with diesel. I'm sick and tired of diesel. I've been driving diesels for the past, you know, four years, three years. I've done, <laughs> I don't know, a hundred thousand miles in four cylinder diesel. So I'm a bit fed up. I'm a bit tired of about the noise. But this engine, you know, it's smooth enough, but if I have one critique for, for Volvo cars as of late, is that their diesel engines have been inconsistent. So my D4 in my XC90 was quite refined at idle, but uh, under load, it was very noisy. This is very noisy at idle. In the front of the cabin is a bit, it's, it's, it's noisy. But under load is very quiet, on the move it's very quiet, so you can't complain about that. But my rental car, which is the D3 diesel, the basically the same engine as this, a two liter four cylinder, but with 150 horsepower, is more noisy than this under load. And at idle, it's more quiet in the front cabin, but there is noise from the rear, seems like to be from the exhaust, so my only critique is that the diesel engines, those three engines, which basically have been the same, are very inconsistent. At motorway speeds doing 120 kilometers an hour, this Volvo V90 Cross Country is the quietest Volvo you can buy at the moment. Out of all the Volvos I've test driven, and I've, I've driven most of them, 
this car is equipped with this particular car is equipped with the laminated glass that means two panes of glass with a piece of lamination here in the side windows so if you put your finger up top here you can feel actually there are two separate pieces of glass and then that makes the car even quieter than the standard version and 120 kilometers an hour that's about 75 miles an hour 80 miles an hour this car is just really quiet and last week or two weeks ago I drove the brand new BMW 5 series and that is the quietest car in this class no doubt about that but this car with this wheel and tire package 245 millimeter width tires and the laminated glass this isn't far behind and that's quite impressive because compared to my XC90 which was a relatively quiet car this is just you know feels like a class above it's really impressive As I was about to open her door I saw the guy that she was waiting for the right comfort in the Volvo V90 Cross Country is the best of any current vehicle. Better than the XC90, better than the XC60, and even better than the S90 and V90 due to a bit softer setup. This car just rides amazingly. And the interior in this V90 Cross Country is as good as the ordinary V90 and the S90. And that means high quality materials, top notch materials, superb fit and finish real metals real wood real leathers this interior is second to none and basically the best Volvo interior in current production is only rivaled by the Mercedes-Benz E-Class in my opinion it's a superb wonderful and exquisite place to sit and spend time so my last argument for why the V90 Cross Country is the best Volvo you can buy at the moment is a subjective one because my last argument is the exterior styling I think this is the best looking Volvo at the moment it's a really gorgeous design and well with those points you know it's better looking it's the best riding it's the quietest it has sports sedan handling with ground clearance of an SUV or of a crossover I think that sums up everything and with this gorgeous and beautiful interior this is the best current Volvo you can buy so let me know what you think but that is those are my points after driven have driven all of the new current Volvos but now we're gonna switch it up because as you can see there the black V90 behind there is my rental car so I'm gonna move all my stuff out of this car and into that car Ooh, cold start diesel so back in the v90 delivered back to cross country the press car I delivered that back to cross country the d4 in the V90 D3 this should be quite a similar experience but you know those press cars are equipped to the brim that car had almost everything this has the normal leather this has the normal seats they're power operated on the driver's side but manually operated on the passenger side and the standard audio system that V90 Cross Country had the Barrows and Wilkins premium audio system one of the best audio systems on the market today so this is my car for the next eight hours or not eight hours you know for indefinitely but for the next eight hours and 350 miles to Western Norway to Stavanger Stavanger to Stavanger the oil capital of Norway it's gonna be an exciting trip so I'm gonna keep you guys updated but I never really knew that it was so Stop for an iced coffee. You're gonna have some 
beverages when you're on a long trip. But the first hour in uh, this XC, in this XC, <laughs> first hour in this V90 now the first thing that I noticed the very first thing is that the D3 engine 150 horsepower diesel engine is a bit underpowered this car has four-wheel drive it's a station wagon and it's a mid-size on the brink to being a full-size car almost so it's almost two tons and 150 horsepower just doesn't cut it it feels a bit underpowered especially compared to the d4 v90 cross country I, i've just had for the past week and a half the other thing is the stereo so this car has the you know the bog standard stereo it doesn't even have a subwoofer and it feels a bit like it, it's an okay sound system I'm not complaining, but it's a bit like if you spend like a hundred dollars on a, you know, a, some computer speakers with a subwoofer. So two stereo speakers and a subwoofer. It sounds a bit like that. It, it gets the job done. There's bass, there's treble, and there's mid-range. It plays fairly loud, but the, you know, the Browse and Wilkins system is more like buying an amplifier for $500 and a set of floor standing speakers for $500 a pair. That's the best comparison I can have, make up in my mind. It's, it's it just, it's, it's okay for probably most people, but for me, you know, I really love music and listening to music loud is some something that I really enjoy when on a long trip, so. For me, the $3,000 or $3,500 upgrade for the Bowers & Wilkins Premium Audio System is worth every penny. So seven hours on the road in this V90, nine o'clock in the evening. I just checked my the board computer. Seven hours on the road in these normal seats. I still feel rested. Where do we have the hotel? So I'm living at New Hotel today. A hotel I've never lived at before. And actually they have a Volvo dealer next to the hotel, not related, but that's uh, quite awesome. A Tesla dealer. This looks like to be a brand new development actually. Quality Hotel Pond. I don't know why they called it Pond. Is there a pond here? Well, there might have been a pond. There's actually a golf course. And there, oh wow, that's an XC90 in brown actually. They said they had free parking. No parking here. Maybe in the back. Hmm. Okay. And all the marked parking spots are are occupied, so let's stop here. Okay, so we have to drive around the building. The receptionist gave me directions. Checked in already. It's nice. But this color is really nice. It's dark brown. I like this dark brown. Let's see if we can turn the camera. Check that out. Very nice color, dark brown. I actually like that color a lot. So, found a spot right here. Perfect. Okay, see you guys later. So I want to show you guys a real nice hack I've learned in the past few years after living a lot in hotels and that is a hack for the you know the lights and the power in a hotel room because usually you'll find in newer hotels that you have this switch here you have to put your key card so you have light and electricity in your room so the power outlets usually 
are also controlled by this switch. But often you only get one key, but you also often get the key in some a paper pamphlet like this or a paper like an envelope. And if you this is too big to fit there, but if you fold it, it will fit like your card. And then just give me a second here, doing this with one hand. And so you still have your key, so you can put that in your pocket and you can have electricity in the outlets when you leave your room. So if you have a laptop with you, as I do, or you want to charge your phone or anything, you can still do that while not being in your room. Checking into a clean and modern hotel room after a long day of driving is actually very nice, very relaxing just to lay down on the bed after a long day in the V90 and you know the V90 is an awesome car you'll see more of that car I'll do a proper video in the next video or the video after that it's been just crazy few weeks now so I do apologize that I haven't given you guys a proper introduction and a proper you know look around at the V90 uh, that's at my disposal now that will come in the future but for now I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video half travel vlog half car vlog. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.